Peterson's going to have to run this time, I think, or he's going to still look, wait, fires deep down the middle. A man open, two men open, and it's caught. Lakers are going to flip it up again. This jet sweep is going to result in a Laker touchdown, I believe. Back, we might see him right now. We will, and he will see, I believe, the end zone. He's in. Mr. Split out. They're looking this way, though. Peterson with time going deep. It's open to Risen, and there is touchdown number three. Mass confusion in that deep secondary. Grandelli's going to run it. They've got space on the right side. Nice cut up the field. What a move this is, and it's Arion Kane Beasy untouched into the end zone. Considering how that first punt went, it's blocked. The Lakers have a rip and run. It's going to be a touchdown. What a play. The man that recovered it for Grand Valley was Grant Hart. That's just a guess. Guy's actually going down the field. Cade's going to have to step up. He's jacking this one down deep. He's got a man. It's caught. It is a Laker touchdown. For Cade, looking left. He's going to throw the out to Ryzen. Ryzen stays on his feet. Ryzen is into wow. the end zone. Hunter Ryzen. Great catch. Johnson going to run left, and he's got an alley. Started inside, went back out. He's got one man to beat. Can he get there? Not quite. <laughs> Not about. There you see 44. It looked like that play was almost offside. Oh, and the count the ball. Oh, my. And walks into the end zone. Anderson, 44. Up the middle they go with Bryce Young Walls. Man, he is a tough cat to bring down. Brown. Endicott taking time, throws, it's caught. Uh-oh, look out, it's on right now. Here's Tillman again, will he get there? He's close. Vitium putting Preventure in here, and Preventure is gonna go in standing up for the touchdown. If you're a running back, that's the way you like it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well. Grand Valley's gonna snap it again to Peterson, and that's gonna do it. 20 seconds left, Matt Mitchell will head across the field to shake hands with Leonard Haynes. These two teams will Exchange handshakes, a tough night for Leonard Haynes and company, and Kate Peterson flies that ball up into the sky. Jim Lewis is going to chase it down That's the ball game. as Your Grand Valley score, gets GSU the victory. So next week, Bob, we'll yeah. see you here for the Ferris game, 7 o'clock, Grand Valley and Ferris. The Lakers with a big win tonight, and they'll be looking, as will Ferris, to keep their seasons undefeated next week.